Today, as we celebrate the memorial of St. Agnes, we visit the Church of St. Agnes outside the walls, a minor basilica in Rome. The church is built over the catacombs of St. Agnes, where the saint was originally buried. A very large basilica was built some meters from the present church in the 4th century, to which was attached the large private mausoleum for Constantina, the daughter of Emperor Constantine. The large basilica decayed during the decline of Rome and was replaced in the 7th century by the present much smaller church commissioned by Pope Honorius I. The new church was over what was believed to be Agnes's grave. The catacombs are on three levels, dating from the 2nd to the 5th centuries. Part of the highest level, dating to the 2nd century, can be visited by a guided tour. It is in this church that on the feast day of St. Agnes, January 21st, two lambs are specially blessed and sacrificed, usually by the Pope after a pontifical high mass, and their wool woven into pallium to be given to newly elected metropolitan archbishops to symbolize their union with the papacy. The 17th century Baroque church in Rome, which faces onto the Piazza Navona, is the site where the early Christian St. Agnes was martyred. Construction began in 1652 under the architects Girolamo Rinaldi and his son Carlo Rinaldi. After numerous quarrels, the other main architect involved was Francesco Borromini. The dome is very impressive and decorated by Ciro Ferri with glory of angels. A door to the right of the St. Sebastian altar is the chapel where you can venerate the head of St. Agnes. This is one of the must-visits when you make a pilgrimage to Italy. If you would like to find out more about St. Agnes, watch our Saint of the Week Nugget on our YouTube channel. And subscribe to our free daily nuggets at www.redeemforworship.com. This daily nugget is brought to you by Redeem for Worship. using Powtoon.